So now we're going to look at how to use ratios to solve problems. So the first question is look at your periodic table and write down where the previous number came from. And if we look at the periodic table, again, it came from the atomic mass. And now I'm going to write this as a ratio. And I could write this ratio as 65.41 grams of zinc in one mole of zinc. Or I can write it inverted, one mole of zinc, 65.41 grams of zinc. Doesn't matter which way you write it. The important thing is always that things are equal. So I'm going to copy, doesn't matter which one, I'm just going to copy this one here. And notice this is what comes from this for every statement or this statement at the top, which actually comes from the atomic mass. So this is fixed, it does not change. Then when I put an equal sign, the big idea of the equal sign is the top and bottom must equal each other. What does that mean? So now, grams of Zn is here, so it's got to be grams of Zn here. Moles of Zn is here, so it has to be moles of Zn. Because they're equal, those units must match up. They must be equal. So now it tells me, determine how many moles would be in 104 grams of Zn. Since it says 104 grams of Zn, I put 104 next to the grams of Zn. I'm solving now for moles, so I'm going to put an x there. So now to solve this one, I would cross multiply. So 104 times 1. So 104 times 1 is 104 equals 65.41x. To solve for x, I divide both sides by 65.41. And I'm going to end up with about 1.59 moles of Zn in that problem. So for this next one, I'm going to go back to and copy again my for every statement. Doesn't matter which one I use. What matters is that things are the same top and bottom. So I copy the exact same thing, put my equal sign, and I can even put grams of Zn here, moles of Zn here. That's everything that's fixed. Now I go to my problem, and my problem says 104 moles of Zn. So in this case, I put the 104 next to the word moles because the problem says 104 moles. My unknown now is the grams. So when I cross multiply, I'm going to have 65.41 times 104 equals 1 times x, which just equals x. So when I solve all that, I get 6,803 grams of Zn is going to be my answer. Next one going to do the exact same ratio. Again, if you prefer the other ratio that we have, if you prefer to use this ratio, you totally can. I'm just being consistent and using the same one. Mole of Zn equal sign. So top and bottom must be equal. So grams and grams, mole Zn, mole Zn. Okay, so those are all equal. Okay, equal sign, they're equal. So now I'm going to read the problem, and the problem says in uh, 0.104 grams, so 0.104 grams of Zn. So now here I'm going to cross multiply 0.104 times 1 equals 65.4x. Divide both sides by 65.4 and I'm going to get 0 0.00159 moles of Zn. It's going to be my answer for that. Lastly for D. I'm going to go back and copy the exact same thing, 65.41 grams of Zn, 1 mole of Zn equals grams of Zn, moles of Zn. So there I go. Now I look at the information in the problem. The information in the problem is 0.45 moles of Zn. 0.45 moles, I plug that in there, solving for grams. And now I cross multiply. 65.41 times 0.45 equals 1 times x equals x. In the end, I get 29.43 grams of Zn. So the big idea when using ratios is be comfortable with cross-multiplying and realize the equal sign means the top and the bottom units, the top units equal each other, the bottom units equal each other.